Hi and welcome, Simon here. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be changing out the hard drive on a Dell Inspiron 14 7000. And this is the M.2, the mini size SSD drive. And let's go ahead and get started. All right, shutting down the computer. So if you're looking to upgrade to a larger drive or maybe your hard drive is broken, and then this video is going to show you to you how to do that from start to finish okay so first identify the model uh, hopefully you guys can see it this model here is p126g all right so that is the model p126g Dell Inspiron I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver this is a ph double zero yeah, double zero. We have to remove all the screws here at the bottom. There are four screws here. Let's go to remove all of them. It looks like the three screws on the top, they do not come off. So as you unscrew, you're going to hear that little click. When you hear that little click, that means you have reached its maximum. It doesn't come off. What it does is that the screw is pushing up the back cover. So you can see that the screw pushes it out. And what you can do, you can use your finger to go in between that gap and then just kind of open up the, uh, the back cover. Okay. Once you flip open the back cover, the hard drive is located at the bottom right corner. This one little screw here, remove that. Okay, remove the bracket. And that is the M.2 SSD drive. Slide it out at 45 degree angle and then replace with the new M.2 drive. Install. Have to screw to go back in it. Let me use a different screwdriver. This is a PH, uh, PH1, Philip 1, because that screw is, the head is much bigger. Okay, so what I did so far, just exchange or uh, install a new M.2, the mini version of it, the SSD drive. With the new M.2 drive, you're not going to have the windows on it because this is brand new. Therefore, the computer would say, hey, there's no operating system or there's no boot device. You still need to get one of these uh, USB installer, this help to install the Windows back into the computer. Now, if you do not want to purchase this installer, you can actually go to Microsoft website where you can, I mean, if you want to go Google up, I think it's called Windows um, Installation Media, Windows 11. They might, you know, you might see something on Google, go ahead and download, get yourself a, a USB and then make a recovery uh, installation disk for this um, Windows install. Okay, and, and I also wanted to point it out to you is one of these here device is called USB uh, M.2 adapter. This allows you to recover the data. You can just insert the old hard drive like such. Um, there's a little rubber band this band here allows you to uh, secure the uh, M.2 and what you can do is plug this into any of the uh, computer. This would act like a USB thumb drive. When you plug it in, you should be able to see um, your information. 
given that the hard drive is still good so check out the link down description below i'll link it to either amazon or ebay where you can buy this usb adapter as well as the replacement m.2 drive all right so thanks for watching until next time uh, bye now